In this video, I'm going to show you how to mass load course requests into Dazzle or student information. First, you need an Excel spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has minimal information required, but most importantly, column A must be your building's school code. So you find your school code if you go to the school demographics page. Your school code is right up here in the top left corner. So LDJR for Ladue Middle School. So my spreadsheet, first column is LDJR. Next column should be the student's Dazzle ID. And then the following columns, the columns that follow, the student number should be the course code. You want to be very careful that you have typed the course code correctly. Once you have this spreadsheet, you save it as XLSX, and then you can load it. I have a student in context here that I've already loaded an example. So Lawrence, Ashley, when you load from the spreadsheet, the course requests will appear on their request page. So I'm going to load this new file and you want to make sure you only load the file once. If you load a file twice, you will create duplicate course requests that can only be removed by state support or by yourself by hand, going one student at a time, which is not fun. So let's go ahead and load this spreadsheet for seventh graders. I am going to go in the cheater to course requests and I am looking for that mass load student course request import. It's this bottom one. I'm going to browse for the file that I saved to my computer and upload and it's giving me a reminder here XLXSX. Please make sure you are in the correct school year. I'm going to upload that file Oh, it's telling me I have it in the wrong format. So let me go find it real quick and resave it. All right, I have it format or I have it saved in SLSX. So I want to make sure that I choose the correct one this time because I had one that was CBS or CSB. And that's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. And if you do not have that correct building code in your file, it's not going to work. All right. So what I have here is this file loaded, but it looks like I had a typo for request two. So if I pull up kid 6243, and I go to their request page, I'm going to see the course request that I loaded for this student. I cannot reload this file because if I do, it's going to delete or it's going to duplicate all of these course requests. So I need to clean up my file. And if I want to attempt to fix the issue, I need to have a file that just has course request number two. I want to make sure that I didn't type it in wrong and then I want to reload it. But I want to make sure that I remove all the other course requests from the file or else I will have a mess. If you have any questions about loading these files, please send us a help desk ticket. You just email progressbookhelp at metasolutions.net and it creates a help desk ticket for the entire progress book team to see. Thanks.